Hello, welcome back to the fantastic worlds of Kevka. Here, I'll be showing you the basics of playing a Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG duel. Now the aim is to win the duel, and you can do that primarily by reducing the opponent's life points to zero. Each player has 8,000 life points to begin with, and a deck of between 40 and 60 cards. So the basics here are each player will initially take 5 cards from their deck. Now, no one is allowed to look in the deck and only the player is allowed to look at their own hands. So here I've got 5 cards to begin with. Now what you'll be doing is you draw a card and then you'll be able to summon monsters, cast spells, or place traps down. Then you will normally attack with your monsters. Once you've done attacking and finished playing any spells or traps or other effects, you will then end your turn and the turn will Pass over to the opponents. Now the most basic way of fighting with your monsters is first to have them on the battlefield. So each turn you're able to normal summon one monster from your hand. Now the monster cards are normally the brown or yellow coloured. So for example, I'll summon this battle footballer. Now that he's summoned, I'm able to attack with him. Now let's say for example, I have this battle footballer and the opponent has a tune warrior. When I attack, I must attack an a monster if possible. So in this case, I have to attack the Tune Warrior. When attacking an attack position monster, I compare my monster's attack value with the defending player's monster's attack value. So in this case, my battle football has an attack value of 1000. And the opponent, monster, the Tune Warrior, has an attack value of 1,600. So, now you have three different types of states. One where your attacking value is higher than his. One where the attacking values are equal. And lastly, if your attacking value is less than his attacking value. So in this case, mine is, is less. So my monster is destroyed. And I would lose a number of life points equal to the difference between those attack values. In this case, I would lose 600 life points. So now that my monster has been destroyed, I have to put it into my graveyard zone, which is another location on my battlefield. So that wasn't a very sensible play. But if I had effect cards to increase this monster's attack, to over 1600 attack value, I'll be able to destroy the opponent's monster. So, for example, if I had summoned a blazing impachi with 1850 attack value and then proceeded to attack with it, 
Oh, I have to attack this tune warrior. And because my attack value is higher, I would destroy the defending player's monster. On top of that, I would deal damage to that defending player equal to the difference between the attack values of the monsters. In this case, I will be dealing 250 life points worth of damage to the de defending player. And his monster would go into that player's graveyard zone. Now if these monsters attack values somehow were the same then no damage would be dealt to either the player but both monsters would be destroyed and sent to their respective graveyards. Now let's return to my battle footballer. One thing you can do is to change the battle position of one of your monsters to the defense position and you do so by rotating the card 90 degrees now in this position my monster can't attack but if he is attacked by a defending player's monster then his defense value is used instead of his attack value so if he attacked with the Tune Warrior, targeting my Battle Footballer, he would compare his attack value of 1600 against the defense value of my defending monster, which is 2100. In this case, the defending monster's value is higher neither monster is destroyed and I'm allowed to deal damage to the attacking player equal to the difference between my defense value and the attacking monster's attack value so in this case my defense of 2100 versus his attack value of 1600 so I would deal 500 life points worth of damage to the attacking player. Now another example. I have a man-eater bug here. Let's say he attacked my defense position man-eater bug. Now the man-eater bug has a defense of 600 versus the tune warrior's attack value of 1600. That means my defending monster being lower, having a defense value lower, be destroyed. But even though defense position monster is destroyed, dealt no damage to my life points. Now in the rare case of his attack value being equal to my defense value, then no damage is dealt to either player or monster. You can change the battle position of your monster during your main phase of your turn. So for example, this attack position monster can be turned into the defense position by rotating the card sideways. Or, if it's already in defense position, you can change it to the attack position and the attack position is the only position where you can attack from as well another option at your disposal is setting a monster now you can do this instead of normal summoning a monster and to do that you place it face down rotated sideways so for example this car this monster be placed face down 
it still counts as a monster so you can defend with it if you're attacked in which case the monster is immediately flipped into the face up defense position you can actually do something called a flip summon if you've had cards set during previous turns now you can flip summon as many monsters as you want and what you do you take the monster and you flip it to the face up attack position like so so I'm just going to flip summon all of these so now they're ready to attack or use their effect one final thing is if an opponent has no defending monsters when you attack with your monster you deal direct damage to that player dealing the full amount on the attack value of your monster in this case 300 points now you can choose to attack with as few or as many monsters as you have in the attack position one additional thing is if you're taking the very first turn of the game you don't get to draw a card and you can't attack with any monsters you place onto your battlefield